What is the difference between Cubase and Nuendo? Hello and welcome to a new video. And a lot of people ask me this question. And now it's very interesting because Steinberg celebrates 20 year Nuendo and gives you a lot of special offers. But now I'll show you the most significant and important 27 differences between Nuendo and Cubase. The first one, two video tracks. At Cubase, we got one video track. In Nuendo, we got two. It's great to have an old version or previous version of a video and the newest version. And so I can switch between them. Difference number two, we still effects. Cubase has included a lot of effects, 76 in total. Noeno has some more effects, for example, the voice designer is great for creating alien voices, robot voices and so on. We got the Doppler and we got the randomizer. It's a great tool when you have just a few gunshots or footsteps and you want to have more variations. Difference number three, field recorder audio import. Imagine you got a round table with uh, four people talking and you recorded all the microphones, but just used one. And after the editing and EDLs, reconforming and so on, you just hear, well, I just use one microphone, but I want to use every microphone just when this one person is talking. And for this, you use the feed recorder audio port. So Nuendo can choose the right track. Um, you can choose it by choosing the right names or lengths or tags and so on. And this can save a lot of time and raise the quality of your audio signal. Difference number four, Dolby Atmos and Oro 3D. Now Nuendo supports Dolby Atmos and Oro 3D. You got the special Panner version. It's not included in Cubase. And don't forget, you got to use the Dolby Atmos software or the hardware RNU and the same with Oro 3D for encoding. Difference number five, ADM import. This is very important for Dolby Atmos. Difference number six, video cut detection. Here I got a movie and I analyzed the video and now add markers. Difference number seven, reconforming. Imagine you are doing the post-production and sound design for a movie. You got the picture lock and now you get a new version. You can load in the old EDL, the edit decision list and the new one. Then you generate the change EDL and then your endo changes your project to the new EDL. Difference number eight, loudness track and offline rendering. I love the included loudness metering in Cubase and Noendo. Here you can see we got loudness units full scale. We can change to uh, loudness units. And now we got the loudness track. And here I can see the loudness units. But now I'll show you the great tool. I am at this loudness track, quick analysis, and it's going very fast, faster than this part. And now we got the loudness track and we got the result. Now we got the next difference. Difference number nine is any mix. It's great for 5.1 up mixing or down mixing. Difference number 10, MXF audio, very important when you get sound from um, Premiere or other video apps, then the cutter can give you an MXF audio. Now we got the next feature, number 11, clip packages. Now I say export clip packages. I say effects. Okay, now I can change this import clip packages you go to here voila it's done difference number 12 set space between selected events at this example i got a few events and for the sound design i want to have a little bit space between them 
Now I got to set space between selected events, set it to five seconds. That's it. Very great for sound design or sample editing. Difference number 13, advanced automation system. The automation system in Cubase is very powerful and in Nuendo you get a few more features and I love the automation passes and you can have different automations and versions. So you can have the volume and then have different panning automations and a few other things, but you use most of them for post-production. Difference number 14, marker tracks. Cubase has got 10 marker tracks and Nuendo 32. Difference number 15, let's go to the control room. In here, I have eight monitor sources. In Cubase, we have just one, but here we got eight. Difference number 16, Export selected events. This is similar to render in place. I go to export and say selected events. It just export the events and doesn't copy them into your project. But the other thing that is really great is the naming scheme. So you can say you want to take the event name. You can type in uh, free text or use a counter and so on that is really great difference number 17 rename events from list let's say you have created a lot of sound effects for a game and it's very important games that you have the correct names so the correct sounds are triggered when you shoot at a person or you hear the right footsteps and then you can get a list with the real names and go to rename events from list. Difference number 18, game audio connect. You can connect Nuendo to other software and this leads us to difference number 19, WISE. We can connect this one to WISE and we can send files to WISE and can send the files from WISE back so we can communicate in uh, both ways you know, this can save a lot of time when you're doing game audio difference number 20 you can check all the versions from uh, perforce at game audio you got a lot of things to to check out and you a lot of data management and for this Perforce and the different versions can help and no and no helps you too. Difference number 21, Dear We Are Special Connect. Dear Reality is a German company and it's very important for virtual reality or augmented reality. And now you can connect it with Noendo inside of Noendo. Difference 22, ADR Taker. Here I got a movie. Now let's go to rehearse. Here you can see the text and here you can see the yellow corner so this means we got rehearse now we are that record mode and here we got a review difference number 23 surround you got 5.1 in um in cubase but in endo you can go to 22.2. Difference number 24, network. In Noendo, you can communicate and interchange via networking, and this can save a lot of time. Now we come to the difference number 25, a VST Transit. This is a feature just included in Cubase and not here. I don't know anybody who was working with VST Transit. When I work together with our people, we just send the whole projects and so I don't miss it. Now we got the difference number 26 Q sheet. And here I go to file, export and Q sheet. 
you want to include the plugins, file list, events list, file name, and just choose all. And here we can see the information, name, untitled. Okay, I didn't save it. Sample rate, bit depth, frame rate, start and length. We got the file list. We got the plugin list. This is very great when you're doing the sound design and you give your project to somebody else. This person can check what kind of plugins are needed or what you have to update or what you have to buy. They were great. Difference number 27, the CrossFit editor. The CrossFit editor in Cubase doesn't have a lot of possibilities. You can choose the length and between equal gain and equal power. Yes, and um, the CrossFit curve. That's it. And now let's have a look at Noendo. Here we got the curve here and we got the length and we got more. Uh, and here we got the overlap. And now let's change it to three. And now let's deactivate symmetric fades. This one to one second. So we got a short fade out and a long fade in. What I really love here is that you can see the waveform. That helps a lot at post-production, sound editing, sound design, and sometimes at music. And it's, it gets better because now I can just drag and drop the, the start points or the end points at the start points at here and I can move it around this way. Really, really awesome. And here we got the ruler. Now Steinberg celebrates 20 years of Noendo and gives you a lot of discounts. For example, the full version of Noendo for 600 euro instead of nearly 1000. So you save 40%. Let's say you are using Cubase and it doesn't matter whether you use Cubase 10 or Cubase 4, you just have to pay 240 euro instead of 400. Very important when you are doing the cross grade, it replaces your Cubase license and then you just have a Nuendo license. Um, Nuendo can load in all Cubase files, all. And Cubase can load in all Nuendo files, but Cubase cannot read uh, all the features that are included in Nuendo. For example, some VST effects or when you have more marker tracks than in Cubase. But when it's just a normal file that includes all that Cubase have, uh, you can switch between them. But one feature is missing in Noendo, that is the VSD Transit. When you use it a lot, you will miss it in Noendo. So Noendo is the big brother of Cubase. Noendo has all the features included that you know of Cubase. At the early days, uh, they have not all features been included and you had to buy the NEK, the Noendo Expansion Kit. Now you can really say Nuendo is the big brother. Okay, let's go ahead. We can cross grade from Nuendo Live and with the competitive cross grade. Here I want Apple's Logic, Cakewalk Sonar, Reason, Digital Performer, Pro Tools 9 or higher, Cocker's Reaper, Presonos, and so on. Ableton Live. You just have to pay 440 euro and just imagine i guess cocker's reaper costs 50 euro or 60 euro so buy this one and then you get the full version of noendo not for 600 but for 440 euro so when you include this one you save 100 euro so that's a great deal.
So the big question is, do we have to switch to Nuendo or stay at Cubase? My opinion, when you are just doing music for fun or pop or dance or film music, you can stay at Cubase. But when you are doing post-production, sound design, game audio, music for games, Nuendo will be a game changer and it can save a lot of time for you. But you have to hurry up because this discount is just possible till the 10th of July 2020. I hope I could help you with a big decision and please don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any new episodes. I will be very happy about every thumb up and comments and questions. See you the next time.